speak to the church. Speak to us. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, we pray. Amen. 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 Yes, thank you so much. God bless you. Can we please take our seats? Thank you so much. Thank you. I'm really, really thankful. I'm really thanking the Lord. Really, really thankful for what he's doing in the life of many of us. I'm really thankful unto God for what he's doing in the lives of his people. With all my heart, I'm really thankful to, to you, our lovely sister Lily, for the powerful time of moderation and leading the service. Thank you so much. May God bless you. May God anoint you. May God really anoint you more and more and more and more. Every single time you stand here, may the oracle of the Lord come out. May the Lord use you. May you become a powerful vessel of the Almighty God. May you affect people of your generations and those to come. May the Lord use you and mighty and powerfully all for his glory. Thank you so, so much for accepting to stand here and serve him and lead the assembly today to the time of moderation. Amen. Amen. One more time, I'd like to thank our, our choir every single Sunday. Those who normally come here on a Saturday, they know the amount of work they put it in every single Saturday. Every single Saturday they're here, spending hours and hours into preparing our service so that they can offer unto God, them and us, you know, a great service, a great adoration of a very good smell unto our God. Amen. 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 The Bible says that one day, when Noah came out of the ark, Noah sacrificed the Lord. Remember, the old history about the ark, all the history about the flood was because God was upset with mankind. God was upset with what was happening upon the face of the earth. God was angry and he subdued the whole earth and all its inhabitants. Amen? Amen. And only Noah and his family were saved. So you could understand, you could see how God was upset. And the Bible says that when he came, when Noah came out of the ark and his family, what he did was the very first activity he did was to sacrifice unto God. He sacrificed unto God. Amen. Amen. Because the sacrifice came from his heart. Because the sacrifice was sincere. Because the sacrifice was a good one. The Bible says that when the smell went up to the heaven, it was a very good smell. And God was really pleased with it. Amen. And we see God for the very first time after the time that he was upset. We see him, you know, repeating the words of blessings that he told Adam from the start. Amen. So every time when God is happy, God is pleased. He will always release great things upon our lives. Are you listening, ladies and gentlemen? Are you listening? Amen. Remember what I like. I want you to respond. Amen. Amen. And the Bible says that whatever we do through present worship are also a form of sacrifice. Amen. Amen. We are all priests. The Lord God has made us priests, a kingdom of priests. Amen. And what priests do? Priests sacrifice. And what we sacrifice is we offer unto God spiritual sacrifices spiritual victims okay and this is all about praise and worship are you listening are you listening so every time when you're coming here whether every time when you appear in the front in front of god you know every time when you appear in the presence of the lord remember don't take the time of present worship lightly it should be a sacrifice it should come out of your mouth come out of your heart sincerely from your heart 
Amen. Amen. And when you're doing that, God is receiving, is, is, is considering it as a sacrifice of a good smell. Amen. 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 Something coming from your, sincerely from your heart. You know what you're doing. You mean what you're doing. When it's our worship, you know what worship is about. When it's about praising God, you're doing it with all your heart. Amen. Amen. You are offering unto God a sacrifice. Hallelujah. A sacrifice. You offer unto God and the Lord will be pleased. Amen. And when he is pleased, when God is pleased, when God is pleased, he will do to you things that even your prayer will not be able to ask. Amen. He will just pour upon your life good things, blessing, grace. Amen. Your, 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 your worship, your, your sacrifice, your praise will make God to talk, will make God to declare things of, uh, over you. Are you listening? Amen. So every single time, every single time, whether at home, whether here, when, when it's a time of worship, take it very seriously. Amen. When it's about time of praise, I remember it's about sacrificing unto God. So sacrifice your shame, sacrifice your, your ego, sacrifice your, your, your pride, sacrifice your arrogance, humble yourselves. Amen. In the presence of God. And he will lift you up in your time. Amen. Amen. Thank you so much to our choir for all the effort that you're putting in every single week, every single Saturday, for spending hours and hours preparing uh, this, this worship. Amen. 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 Uh, hallelujah. Amen. How long does uh, Usain Bolt has uh, had to spend in running 100 meters? How long? How long is it? Who can, who, who can, who can estimate? 9.6 seconds. Amen. Hallelujah. You see, 9.6 seconds. Let's say it 10 seconds. Amen. So he's, he's offering, let's say he's doing the real thing in just 10 seconds. He's going to run to win a medal for how long? For just 10 seconds. Amen. 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 How long do you think he spends in preparation? <laughs> Sorry? Four years. Four, four years. Amen? Yeah. We're talking about four years because he normally runs, let's say, Olympics after four years. Yeah? So can you, can, can you imagine? So he's spending, let's say, four years. Let's accept four years. Okay. He, he's, he's spending four years for him to compete for how long? Ten for ten seconds. Do you understand that? Do you understand the power of preparation? For just something that will last 10 seconds. And the guy is investing four years of work. Are you listening? Success doesn't just fall from heaven. Are you listening? It needs hard work. You need to stand up. You need to work. Amen. Amen. For Lily to stand here and spend this hour in leading the service, you don't know how much effort has been put in. You understand? For the singers, the musicians... To so come here and stand there for an hour to lead us to the present worship, you just see an hour. But for that hour to happen to take place, it's basically a fruit of hours and hours and hours of preparation, of hard work. Are you listening? An exam that will last about an hour and 30 minutes, the student will spend hours and hours for preparation. Amen. So there is, you know, something that you, you know, we have to understand about preparation. Getting ourselves ready. Amen. Don't just cross your hands and expect things to fall from heaven. Amen. We, we, we need to do things. And this is about part of sacrifice as well. Amen. We say that this is something that many Christians don't, don't know to understand. Amen. Amen. Some of them saying that because Christ, Christ paid the price, that's it. So I have to stay home and every single month, at the end of the month, money will come into my bank account. Every single day, thing will just happen just like that. Are you listening? Are you listening? Yes. So, all of us for great success, for great things to happen, Always make sure that you stand and accept to spend time and time for hard work. 
time and time for preparation. Are you listening? Amen. As preachers, how much time they put in for preparing maybe a 10 minutes preaching? Amen. Amen. It all takes time. God bless our musicians. Can we clap for them for the efforts, for the sacrifices? Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. We are in the book of Matthew chapter 25. Matthew chapter 25. The text we did started last week, last Sunday. We're just going to go through with it. Amen. Amen. And the verse we started reading was from verse number 14. That's, when we, that's where we started last time. I need one uh, reader to read from verse 14. We're going to be skipping verses because uh, the, the text is quite long. The story is quite long. Amen. Who is going to read? Yes, uh, Israel is reading. Pass the microphone on to him. Thank you so much. Thank you, Israel. Thank you so much. You who has never read the Bible in the church, in the service, Stand up next time and do it. Okay, can we all stand on our feet? Can we all stand on our feet? Thank you very much. Again, it will be like a man going on a journey who called his servants and entrusted his wealth to them. To one have five bags of gold, to, one, to another two bags, and to another one bag, each according to his ability. Then he went on his journey. The man who had received five bags of gold went at once and put his money to work and gained five more bags. So also, one with two bags of gold gained two more. But the man who received one bag went off, dug a hole in the ground, and hid his master's money. After a long time, the master of the servants returned and settled accounts with them. The man who had received the five bags of gold brought the other five, Master, he said, you entrusted me with five bags of gold, so I have gained five more. His master replied, well done, and good faithful servant. You have been faithful with a few things. I will put you in charge of many things. Come and share your master's happiness. The man with two bags of gold also came, Master, he said. You entrusted me with two bags of gold. See, I have gained two more. His master replied, well done and good um, and my faithful servants. You have been faithful with a few things. I will put you in charge of many things. Come and share your master's happiness. The man who had received the one bag of gold, master, he said, I knew that you are a hard man harvesting where you have not sown or, and gathering where you have not set, scattered seeds. So I was afraid and went out and hid your gold in the ground. See, here is what belongs to you. His master replied, you wicked, lazy servant, see, you knew that I harvest uh, where I have not sown and gathered, where I have not scattered seed. Well then, you should have put the money on my deposit with the bankers, so that when I return, I have received it back in with interest. So amen, 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 amen. Yeah, come on, Israel, verse number 28. Okay. So take the bag of gold from him and give it to one of the, one of has ten bags. For whoever has will be given more, and they will have an abundance. Whoever does not have even what they say they have will be taken from them. And th throw that worthless servant outside into the darkness, where there will be weeping and gnashing of teeth. Hey, that's the word of God. Say amen. amen. Thank you so much. You may be seated. God bless you, our dear brother Israel. Thank you for the courage of standing up and reading and serving God with your voice, with your knowledge of reading, your reading skills. Amen. Amen. I didn't hear you back. Amen. Amen. I want you to respond every time, okay? Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Ladies and gentlemen, we started talking about this since last Sunday. And um, the main topic of the year is about manifesting yourselves. Amen. 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 And uh, we said that um, this year is a year where you are called to manifest yourselves. The Bible says, the Bible teaches us that the Lord God, 
as always manifesting his glory. And every time that Jesus was um, performing miracles, it was clearly shown, clearly written, that he manifested his glory. Amen? Amen. And we, we saw the story in the book of John chapter 7, where Jesus you know, uh, uh, was in the north in Galilee, and the brothers are telling him, look, go down where the party is, show yourself, manifest yourself, because people down there need to see what you're doing. Amen? People down there need also to benefit from what you have and from what you are. Are you listening? Are you listening? Thank you so much. Ladies and gentlemen, so it's a year where you are called to manifest yourselves. Now, we started this since last Sunday. We are continuing with this because I want you to understand and I want you to manifest yourself in this year. Remember the Bible says in the book of Romans, chapter 8, that the whole world, the whole community, the whole environment is waiting. Are you listening? Amen. The whole world, the whole environment, your community, your church, everyone around you, they are waiting. Waiting for what? They are waiting for your... Your what? Thank you so much. For they are waiting for your manifestation. The whole world is waiting for you to manifest. The whole world is waiting for you to manifest. And there's a, there's a verse in the Bible where Jesus said that the, 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 the word of God will go everywhere, okay, should be preached everywhere, should be preached to all souls around the world, then the end will come. Are you listening? Amen. Are you listening? Amen. So even the Lord is, for, for him to bring the end, is waiting for who? Waiting for us to do what? To manifest ourselves into proclaiming, into spreading the word of God everywhere. Because God does not want somebody tomorrow to give an excuse that I never knew you. I never heard you. Nobody came to preach to me. Nobody came to present you to me. Are you with me? Amen. Are you here? Amen. So the, the, his word has to travel all over the world so that all souls, all hears, can listen to it. Who's going to take it to the uttermost of the world? Who's going to take it all the way there? Who? Are you here, guys? Amen. I've got a problem with you this time. Amen. I want you to respond. Are you, are you listening? Yeah. Thank you so much. I want you to respond. I want you to respond. Amen. 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 Thank you. So, the, 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 the Lord, for him to bring the end, is, is also waiting for us to do the job, to do what we meant to do, what we are to do, because we are his disciples. Amen. Amen. So, um, this year, I want you to understand this verse, and I want you to make sure that you play your part that you play your role, that the whole world is, is waiting for the manifestation of children of God, the manifestations of sons and daughters of, of God. If you are a son of God, if you are a daughter of God, then you should understand that the world is waiting for you. Are you listening? Amen. Are you listening? Amen. Now, the world will wait for you. Why? In some way, somehow, because the world knows that inside of you, there are things that should come out, that should benefit them. Amen. If you were empty, the world would have waited for you. Mm -hmm. are, you are you listening? Amen. Amen. Are you listening? Amen. Are you listening? Amen. Thank you so much. Can I stand here and expect, and expect, don't need to give me 5,000 pounds. <laughs> Amen. Amen. Because I know, I know, I, well, I know miracle do happen. <laughs> Amen. But I know he, he's not working yet. Amen. He's not working yet. He hasn't got his own income yet. Okay. So, you know, logically speaking, he doesn't have money. And not even that amount of money. Amen. And if we see Donnie with 5,000 pounds, he's in trouble. <laughs> are, are, are you listening? 
Are you listening? Is it a problem to have money? It's not a problem to have money. Amen. But if we see with 5,000 pounds, you'll be in trouble. Amen. Because we ask you, where did you get this money from? Do you, you, you understand? Amen. So, because we have things inside of us, that's why the world is expecting us to manifest, to bring them out. They're waiting for it. Are you listening? Now, the story talks about talent. I think it's a very good word, talent. Amen? In this time, ta talent was, was like a unit of currency. You see the way we talk about dollars, pounds, euros. Amen? At that time, talent was also taken in that way. Amen? And talent was a lot of money. You understand? Amen. Talent was a lot and a lot of money. So when they talk about 10 talents, you are thinking about millions and millions. Because talent was a, was a lot of money. Amen? Amen? Are you listening? Amen. Are you listening? Amen. Thank you so much. So, we said, according to the text, according to the text, to, to, to the text that in this case, they're talking about talent, which is money, the master giving money to his servant. Yes. The master giving money to his servant. Giving talent to his servant. And the exact same word works also for us. The same word works for us. In what way? The Lord, when you were born, when he sent you to the world, he did not send you empty-handed. He did not send you empty. Amen. He put in you some abilities. Are you listening? He put in you some abilities, some talent. You, you are born with those inside of you. As, as, as you grow, those things will start manifesting themselves. Are you, are you, are you listening? Amen. Are, you, are, you, are you listening? Amen. Amen. You see, um, you know, uh, uh, um, I know uh, gift, gift family. And you know, the gifts, Emmanuel and, um, and Gershom, as, as they were growing up, they were, they were all going to, to football. Are you listening? Yeah. They were all going to football. They were all going to, to play football. They were all going to learn football. You understand? And as they were going, then later on, gifts, let's say, was enjoying it, was really in it. Amen? Geshom was enjoying it, was really in, in it. Amen. But after a short time, Emmanuel went there, played a little bit. After a short time, I don't, I don't belong here. I don't, I don't belong here. <laughs> Amen. No, no, I, I, I don't belong here. This is not for me. No, football is not for me. And trust me, Emmanuel, football, zero. He, does, he doesn't want, he does, it's, it's not something that interests him. You understand? Yeah. You, it, 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 nobody can blame you for that. Amen? Amen. You don't want to play football, fine. Yeah. Amen. 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 But in all his family, when you're talking about singers or a singer, who is number one? Emmanuel. 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 Number one, Emmanuel. Number two, Emmanuel. Number three, Emmanuel. <laughs> <laughs> are, are, are you listening? Amen. So why, why, why does he not like football? Why? why? Because... The ability entrusted, invested in him, is not about football. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Amen. But let's say in Geshung, yeah. the ability of footballs are there. Yeah. But in Emmanuel, no. no. You understand? Yeah. But Emmanuel is very good in what he does. Yeah. Geshung also would be very good in whatever he does. Yeah. Each one of them are, are, is very important. Yeah. Do you understand? Yes. Do you understand? Yes. Each one of them, in whatever they do, can become millionaires tomorrow. Are you listening? Messi plays football, he's a millionaire. Tiger Wood does not play football. He won't play football. No. But Tiger Wood plays something else. Golf is also a millionaire. Are you, are you listening? Yes. Somebody like Usain Bolt, he does not do boxing. Usain Bolt, no. Amen. Amen. Usain Bolt does not do the jumping thing. No, he does not. Put him in there, he will be rubbish. Yes or no? You put him there, he'll be rubbish. But it's not because he's rubbish in jumping, then he's rubbish in everything. No. Are you listening? Are you listening? He may be rubbish in jumping, but come to 100 meters running or race, 
You will see. Amen. Ten seconds is done. By 100 meters, you will not run. Ten, 10 meters, your tongue is already out. Are you, are you listening? Amen. <laughs> Amen. Why? Each one of you, each one of us, are born with those skills, abilities that we call in talent. Yes. Amen. Amen. We call in talent. Yes. And we're saying that it's not because you are not good, let's say, in this area. Then you will say, you say, oh no, I'm rubbish in life. There's nothing I can do in life. No, you are rubbish in this. Fine, fine. But in this other thing, you are one of the best. So you need to discover that area where you are the best and bring it out. God is, have you heard about Albert Einstein? Yeah? Who is he? Who was he? That great scientist, isn't it? Well-known scientist. Amen. Amen. Do you know... Do you know his, his, his stories? Hallelujah. Amen. You know, I heard that in, in, in one of the universities, he was chased away. They told him, this is what he's doing is rubbish. There's nothing he can do. Amen. Sometimes even, even our teachers, sometimes they bring us down. You understand? You, make, you, you, you bring an idea out, you, you, you're making your assignment, then he say, no, no, this is rubbish, this is nothing. And then it discourages you. Amen. But don't listen to that because there are things inside of you. Amen. Amen. I heard a story about, about this company called FedEx. Have you heard of FedEx before? Yeah. Thank you so much. It's, it's, a, it's a company of uh, post or whatever, isn't it? Yeah? yeah? It's, that, is, that is the idea, an assignment of that person, that guy, who was in university as, as they gave him a, 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 an assignment to do. The guy went and put down the idea, the idea of FedEx. Amen. And when he gave it to the professor, the professor mocked and said, this is total rubbish. There's no way in life you have something like this. It will never work. You understand? It will never work. The guy fell. Amen. As he fell, he went out and said, my dear, I'll put it down in working. And I'll see what he's going to produce. And today, the name of the professor is not known. Do you understand? But the company of that guy is worldwide. Do you understand? So each one of us, we are born with those natural uh, uh, talent that the Lord has given unto us. I'm talking about natural because you are born with them. Amen? And when you come to Christ, when the Holy Spirit comes in you, he also entrust you he also put in you he also invest in you what we call spiritual talent spiritual gift are you listening are you guys listening are you listening thank you so much so the world is waiting for you to bring out those talents those spiritual gifts because because the world needs them to make the world better, to bring the world to God, to, to bring the world to Jesus. Amen. There are people who are becoming rich in this, in, in, in this world just because of the name of Messi and Ronaldo. You understand? And those guys, they don't even know. And there are things like this around the world or in this world. Amen. But one thing for sure we need to understand, listen, ladies and gentlemen, you have the talent. You should agree with me that inside of you, those abilities are there. Thank you. Thank you so much. You, you should agree with me that inside of you, those abilities are there. Do you understand? Can you tap your chest and say, I'm able? I'm say, I'm able. I'm able. Say, I'm able. I'm able. Thank you. Inside of you, there are abilities. You are able to do things. Inside of you, there are abilities. Nobody in here is empty. Nobody in here was born empty. Nobody. Guys, do you know what, what we call it? There's this, this sickness in, in, in people in schools. Um, dys, dyslexia, yeah? Yeah, this yeah. dyslexia. Those who cannot really read properly. Yeah? Yeah? Thank you so much. Do you know that many big guys in this world, they've been dyslexic. Do you understand? They've been dyslexic. 
but still the made you understand i know a principal of a school who was diagnosed who was dyslexic but he still made it to become a principal in a school do you understand do you understand yes. nobody is born empty amen, amen. The, uh, the problem let's say with dyslexic people is you guys you can do many many things at one time whatever yeah you can do a lot yeah you understand you can do a lot but a dyslexic person let's say does not do a lot at the same time but he will target one area and in that area it's going to be really hard for you to beat him in that area. Do you understand? If it's somebody who plays football, it's going to be really good in football. Just that. Do you understand? He's going to be good in drawing, in, in, in art stuff. He's going to be really good in it. He will do things that you won't be able to do. It's all about discovering that talent out of you, those spiritual gifts out of you, and put them in practice. Make them to function. Manifest yourself Showing, bringing out those talents inside of you this year because we're waiting for them. The world is waiting for it. Do you understand? Amen. Do you understand, ladies and gentlemen? Yes. I, I, I never heard anything from this side. Do you understand? Amen. Do you understand? Now, guys, the story here is about Jesus, the master, telling them that look, look, <clears throat> you need to understand. Yes, I've, give, I've given all of you talents, but not all of you have the same talents. Not all of you have the same amount of talent. You understand? But the problem is not about the amount of talent. The problem is about how faithful you are. How you using what they gave you. How you using what the Lord gave you. Because whether you have ten talents or five talents, if you two were faithful, when the Lord comes, you two will receive the same reward. You two will receive the same reward. Your reward will be double. Do you understand? You are five, you're going to receive another five. You are two, you receive another two. You are one, you receive another one. And you will share the joy of the master at the same place as those who receive five, ten, eleven, or whatever. Do you understand? So the problem is not about, no, well, I can't sing. The pastor said that we need to serve the Lord, but I can't sing. Yes, you can't sing. But you can do some other stuff very important than singing. Do you understand? Oh, no, no, but, you know, I, 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 I can't preach. Fine. You can't preach. It's not a problem. You can't preach. But you can do some other stuff, which will be very, very good, very good, okay, to other people. That will benefit us. Nobody is empty. We all have things inside of us. It's a matter of discovering it. Amen. Somebody say, well, how can't, how can't we do this? Look at this, uh, look at this guy, for example. Okay, uh, Emmanuel. Look at Emmanuel. No, well, he can sing. He can do moderation. He can do this. But me, I can, only, I can only do one thing. Fine. You can only do one thing. That one thing, do it better. Yeah. When the Lord will come, and you, and Emmanuel, you will sit at the same table, receiving the same rewards. Yeah. You understand? It's all about your faithfulness. Do you understand? It's about, all about understanding what you have inside of you and put it at work. Don't be lazy. Amen. Amen. Now, one important thing that you need to understand, that you need to know, that those talents inside of you are not there to be dormant, are not there to just sit there inside of your vein or inside your heart. Be very, very careful. Why? Jesus says that one day, the master came. The master will come. You understand? The master will do what? Will come. And we said that one day Jesus will come. You understand? One day Jesus will what? I can't hear you this side. One day Jesus will what? Thank you. One day each and every one of us on here in the world will appear. In the tribunal of God. Do you understand? Amen. One day, each and everyone over here will stand in front of the throne of God. You and God alone. You and God. Amen. What would be one of the questions God will ask you? God will tell you, I'm the master. Inside of you, 
I put a gift of reading inside of you. I put a talent of this. I put a talent of singing. I put a talent of preaching. Inside of you, there are people there who needed that talent. And that talent I put inside of you to benefit them. Look at these guys. He said that he, 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 he couldn't know me because nobody preached to him. But you are the one that I chose to preach to him. But you failed the assignment. What did you do with the talent I gave you? So you will give an account of what you did with the time God gave you. What did you do with all the abilities that God gave you? Guys, negligence is something that God does not tolerate. Do you understand? Negligence is something that attracts curse. Because God does not tolerate anybody to do his job, to do his work with negligence. Do you understand? He does not even tolerate you that he gave a talent to, to just sit there and doing nothing. Do you understand? We will get to the story of that one guy. Then you understand how furious God becomes when he sees you with ability that he put inside of you and not using them. You understand? This year, 2024, it's a year of? A year of? I can hear you. A year of? Say you better, a year of? Say I will manifest. I will manifest. I will manifest. I will manifest. Thank you so much. In this year 2024, what the Lord has invested inside of you, you should be able to use it. You should be able to bring it out. You should be able to utilize it. He put it inside of you for a purpose. Do you understand? For a purpose. Don't ever say, I am too young. Do you understand? Don't ever say that I am too young. If a little baby like Jeremiah inside of the womb of his mom and God is telling you, look, I've already chose you and I ordained you as a prophet. And you tell me that you are a baby? No. Amen. As young as you are, you can be called my servant. You can move mountains around. You can do my work. You can do my job. And I'll be able to move inside of you. Amen. Amen. God does not have a problem. He does, not, he does not have a problem with age. He can use anybody who avail themselves. Do you understand? Don't say I'm too young to do this. Oh, no, people are laugh at me. No, I'm too shy. No, those are barriers that you're creating. And don't, and don't even go and say, I'm too busy. I'm too busy. Well, you're too busy really you are too busy with what okay fine so in all your busy life in all your busy things so you you found time to put everything inside but the things of god you put it aside so you are busy with other stuff but not the things of god do you realize what you're doing are you realizing what you would do or what you are doing the one giving you the strength, energy. Amen. The one giving you uh, security, protection. The one giving you the breath of life. The one who guarantees you your tomorrow. Who will, who, who will guarantee that tomorrow morning you wake up. Amen. That's the one. So that's the one that you are putting his work on hold. And say, I'm busy with my own things first. Then when I finish, then I can go on those ones. Guys, there is a terrible mistake that we should never make. Amen. 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 Close your eyes. Say, Lord, Lord this, year, this year I will serve you. Will serve you. Holy, Spirit, Holy Spirit, help me. Help me. This, year, this year, what you put in me, put in me should, come out, should come out, should manifest. Should manifest. This, year, this year, I will manifest in the name of Jesus. All for your glory. Help me, dear Holy Spirit. God Almighty, anoint me. Anoint me with the Holy Spirit. I'll save you. I will save you. I will manifest myself in the name of Jesus Christ. This year, it is my year. 
in Jesus' name. In Jesus name. Amen. Amen. God bless you all. Here I am to worship. Here I am to bow down. Here I am.